Hi everybody, this is Johnny Vasquez, founder of New Stitch A Day, and in this episode, I'm going to teach you how to knit the arched cable stitch. How to knit the arched cable stitch, English style. For this tutorial, you will need a pair of knitting needles. Special thanks to our sponsor, Skissel, for providing today's needles. Today, we are using their Addy Lace Interchangeable Clicks in the size 8. A cable needle. Special thanks to our sponsor, Lion Brand, for providing today's yarn. Today, we are using their Cotton Ease Line in the color Lime. For this stitch, you will need to know the following techniques. Knit, purl, cable four front, cable four back. To begin this stitch, you must cast on in multiples of 24 plus two. Row one, we're going to knit all stitches. Row two, we're going to begin by knitting one. Then we're going to purl all stitches until we reach the last stitch in our row. When we reach the last stitch in our row, we're going to knit one. Row three. We're going to begin by knitting one. Then we're going to start our repeat by doing a cable four back. So we're going to take our cable needle or double pointed needle and we're going to slip the next two stitches off of our main needle onto our cable needle. And then we'll hold that behind our work. Okay, then we'll knit the next two stitches off of our main needle. And then we'll knit the two stitches on our cable needle. Okay, we'll set this aside for a second, our cable needle. Then we're going to knit four. Okay, next we're going to do a cable for front. So we'll take our cable needle again, we'll slip the next two stitches off of our main needle onto our cable needle and hold that in front of our work. Then we're going to knit the next two stitches off of our main needle and then knit the two stitches off of our cable needle. All right, so we're going to repeat this sequence until we reach the last stitch in our row. Now when we reach the last stitch in our row, we're just going to knit one. Row four, we're going to begin by knitting one. Then we're going to purl all stitches until we reach the last stitch in our row. And when we reach the last stitch in our row, we're just going to knit one. Row 5, we're going to knit all stitches. Row 6, we're going to begin by knitting 1. Then we're going to purl all stitches until we reach the last stitch in our row. And when we reach the last stitch in our row, we're going to knit 1. Row 7, we're going to begin by knitting 3. Then we're going to take our cable needle and we're going to do a cable four front. So we'll slip the next two stitches off of our main needle onto our cable needle and hold that in front. Then we will be knitting two. Okay, and then we're going to knit the two stitches from our cable needle. Then we'll do a cable four back. So we'll slip the next two stitches on our main needle to our cable needle. We'll hold that behind our work and then knit the next two stitches from our main needle. 
and then knit the two stitches from our cable needle. All right, then we're going to finish our repeat by knitting four. Okay, so we're going to repeat that sequence until the end of the row. Now when we get to the end of our row and we've just about finished our last repeat, instead of knitting four, we're going to knit three. Row eight, we're going to begin by knitting one. Then we're going to purl all stitches until we reach the last stitch in our row. And when we reach the end of our row, we're going to knit the last stitch. So we're going to repeat rows 1 through 8 until we've reached our desired length. And that's how you knit the arched cable stitch. After a few repeats, your pattern should look like this. Want more New Stitch Today? Check out our website at newstitchaday.com.